Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google business profile for your company in 2025. Now, this is something that can feel a little bit difficult. There's some questions that they're gonna ask you that can be a little bit confusing. So I wanna walk you through this process of setting this up properly because this is very important for every business, whether you are running a service business like a plumbing company or you have a storefront and you're selling products out of your physical business location or maybe you're running an e-commerce store, regardless of what type of business you are running, it's very important to have a Google business profile also formerly known as Google My Business Profile. So let me show you how to set this up here today. Feel free to skip around throughout this video, but there's gonna be some pretty important pointers that I think are gonna be very valuable for you here today. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So what we're gonna be doing, and I'm just gonna use Clinton, New Jersey as an example here, is I'm gonna show you how to set up these Google Business Profiles for your company. So when someone searches on Google Maps or they search on Google, your business will show up like this. You'll have a description, you'll have the hours, you'll have the address, you'll have your website, your phone number, other important information so people can learn about your business when they are looking through their different options of what business they want to use for whatever they're looking for. The first thing that we're going to do in this process of setting up our Google business profile is actually what I want you to do is go over to Google Maps and just look up your business and make sure it's not already on there. Because what happens is a lot of businesses are already listed on Google. They just haven't been claimed yet. So for example, here's one, this Weiss land landscaping company, it hasn't been claimed yet. And so I want you to just go onto Google Maps or go onto Google, look up your business, make sure it hasn't already been populated there by Google. Google likes to do this, especially if you've been running your business for a while, it might already be on there. And if that's the case, then you can just go and click claim this business where I'm hovering over right here, and then just go through that process of claiming it. It's pretty easy to do that. Once you've done that, once you've gone through and you've, you, if you have not found your business already on Google, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to google.com slash business. I will leave a link to this down below in the description here for you to follow along in this video. What we're going to need is just to have a Google account. So if you have a Gmail, that's perfect. I'd recommend using one that's already connected with your business. Like don't use your personal one, probably use your business one. And then we're just going to click on manage now. I'm going to type in our business name right here, Santro Landscaping LLC. So this is going to be a landscaping uh, business based in Clinton, New Jersey. And so now we're going to have to choose our business type. We have three different options, but you can choose multiple of these three. You don't have to just pick one. So online retail, this is like if you're running an e-commerce store, maybe you're selling products out of your house, you would check this box here because you don't want people showing up to your actual business. It's, it's really just for online retail. Then we have local store. You know, this could be a restaurant. This could be, you know, like a, a pet supply store. It could be a, a landscape supply store as well, if that's something that we're doing or a service business. Service businesses are, of course, things like landscapers, plumbers, electricians, things along those lines where people aren't generally coming to your business, but you're more so taking calls and then going out and helping customers at their home or at their place of uh, where they need your service. Okay. So for this landscaping business, I'm going to ch just check service business, but remember you can check multiple boxes at the same time if that's something that applies to you. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step here, which is going to be entering a business category. Now this is actually very important because there's a lot of discrepancies here. For example, if I'm running a landscaping business, I could enter landscaper, right? But I could also enter maybe be uh, lawn care, right? Um, and so there's a lot of different options here. I would recommend going for one that is relatively broad that you think most people are going to be searching on Google or on Google Maps when they're looking for your type of company, right? I'm going to just go with a basic landscaper because for us, we might offer hardscaping and uh, patio designs and, you know, things like retention walls, right? So I'm going to click on next here after putting in landscaper. We can also add more details later. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm moving on to the next step here, which is going to be choosing our location for our business. This is important because you want to make sure that you are selecting the areas and the towns that you are servicing, uh, that you're running your business in. But I would not recommend going too far out. So for example, if we're running our landscaping business in New Jersey, well, I'm going to put in Clinton, New Jersey, right? But don't put in like Ohio or California because you're trying to get more customers or do something like that. Google knows. So their general rule of thumb is like, if it's more than a two hour drive, Google doesn't like that. And you can get 
get your business listing actually removed if you are putting in locations that are just really far apart from each other. I don't really know why people would even do that in the first place. I would say as a general rule of thumb, like places that you're actually willing to do your business in. So this would probably be the neighboring towns like maybe Flemington, New Jersey, and maybe like Highbridge, New Jersey, but places that, you know, maybe half an hour, an hour drive at most away from where my business is actually located is what I would want to keep the range in. We can also modify all of this as well later on. And um, I'll show you how to do that once we get this set up. So if you want to change locations, you want to add another town in there, you can certainly do that. So I put in the general towns that I'm servicing. I'm going to click on next. And now we're going to put in our phone number and our website. You don't have to have a website, but it does really help because it will show up on Google there. People can learn more about your business and probably just increase your overall amount of customers that you were actually converting for your company. So let me, let me put in the phone number here and I'm going to click on next. Okay. And now we can check these two different boxes here. This is just going to stay up to date from Google when they change things for Google business. Um, this could be pretty useful. I would actually recommend doing this, getting news and tips on how to improve your business profile and then clicking on continue. And now we're probably getting into the most important step here. And maybe this is where people had some hiccups or some issues when they're creating their business on Google. It's actually verifying that you are a legitimate business owner in the place that you say you are. So this is to avoid having random listings of businesses on Google that don't actually exist, right? So Google has a couple of different ways of verifying that you are running a business in the area that you say you are. So their first method of verification, if you're running like a service business, for example, it might be something as simple as just verifying your phone number and you know making sure that you are a real person. But they also have different methods like, for example, sending you a physical piece of mail to the address that you have listed your business at. So this could take a week, sometimes two weeks for it to actually arrive. I think they say like five to seven days, but I've seen it take longer where they will mail you something to your place of business that you have listed. You have to wait for it to come. Then you punch in that pin number. You enter in that pin number, that, that special code into your Google business profile, which then verifies, okay, this person does indeed own this business, like they're getting mail there, and then you are verified and will show up on Google. Now, I've seen both of those. There's also another method that they've been using a lot more, and you this might happen to you, and it's okay. It's not too difficult, but there's a video verification method as well. This is especially, I see this used for like storefront businesses. So like if you're if you're running like a pet store or like this, you know, a, like an actual store that people are going into, they typically want a video showing, you know, for example, you unlocking the front door to your business, walking around, you know, maybe perhaps this is like unlocking your company vehicle and the outside of the business, the inside of the business, all in one video. So if you get prompted to do that, don't worry, it's not terribly difficult. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward from that. But let me enter in the address for our business here, and then we'll move on to this verification process. All right, and so now I moved on here and we can see that Google, they're just gonna send us a phone code and we can verify it that way. But we do have this business video as well, which will say, you know, show your location, the equipment, proof of management, basically just, you know, some common sense stuff to show that like, yes, you actually own this business. So you can do this pretty easily as well. And then there also is another option to skip the verification process and just verify it later if that's something that you would like to do. So I'm just going to click that for now because I'm, you know, making this tutorial for this landscaping company because there's some more important things here like adding our services. Okay. So once you go through that verification process, we're going to add our services. And this is also very important because these are going to be keywords that people might be searching on Google or on Google Maps. And you want to show up for as many of these as possible. So if we're just Santral Landscaping LLC, but what services do we actually provide? Well, you know, maybe we do grass seeding, groundskeeping, grading, resloping, garden design, right? But maybe we don't do driveway or walkway paving. I would not include things that you don't actually offer as a service or that your company actually can provide. So check as many of these as you can, ones that really do adhere to or uh, are relevant to your business. And so hardscaping, we do that, landscape design, landscape installations, right? Maybe we do provide lawn care as well. Um, these are all gonna be things like when someone looks up lawn care now on Google Maps in Clinton, New Jersey, we're going to have a good chance of showing up in those search results because we check this box right here for lawn care. And if there's ones that you don't see on here that maybe you want to add in as well, you can just go down to the bottom and click add custom service. So maybe for, perhaps we have like pond or pool landscaping, right? And we can just add that. Or maybe we have pond design and then we can just click add custom service. And now we added that in there. Maybe we have 
snow removal. We could just click add custom service to add that one in there. And we can put as many of these custom ones in there as we would like as well. Maybe like fall cleanup, click add custom service, right? So we added those in there. Feel free to put in as many as you would like words that are relevant to your business in your area. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. All right. And now we are adding our business hours. So for a service business, perhaps we want to just say that we're open 24 hours a day, especially if you are a plumbing business or an electrician that people need, maybe in the middle of the night, they have an issue with their toilet, right? A 2 a.m. call, you might be able to charge double for some of that. And so you might want to be open 24 hours a day, or maybe you're closed on Sundays, right? But you're open every other day of the week. So go ahead and select the hours that you are open. Make sure this is also accurate though. Like if you're not willing to take calls at two in the morning, then don't select 24 hours. Or if you don't have someone to take calls for that, then I would not select 24 hours for your business. So go ahead and add these. You can also change your hours later on, you know, next month, if you decide that for the winter season, you, your hours are going to be more limited. You can go in and change that on Google pretty easily with your Google business profile. So I'm going to click on next here and we're going to move on to the next step, which is adding our business description. The business description, I'll show you the example here is right here. So this is what it's going to show up as classic diner open 24 seven, right? So your business description, I would recommend keeping this nice and short. So let's say landscaping company uh, that specializes in a couple of different things. All right. So professional landscaping company that specializes in hardscaping, retention walls, pond design and patios looks good to me. We can have up to 750 characters on this, but I wouldn't make it too complicated. Like you don't want to have tons of text in there for your business description. So keep it nice and sweet. I would say a few sentences at most for your business description. This shows up on your business profile on search on maps and other Google services. So let's move on to the next part here, which is going to be adding photos of our work. Now, eventually, as you get more customers and customers add reviews, hopefully your customers are going to be adding photos in there as well. Those really do make a difference for converting new customers to your business or getting them in the door. But to get it started, you're going to want to have at least a few photos here of your work or of your business. This could just be the front of your business. Go out with your phone, take a picture real quick, upload it here. So let me do that now. All right. And these photos look pretty good. I can once again, and always add more later. And then they're going to hit us with an offer of advertising credits. Typically with this though, you know, it's, it looks like it's a free $500 to run Google ads, but in a lot of cases, you know, it's like get $500 after you spend $500. I actually do have a full Google ads tutorial on this channel that I will link to down below as well. If you want to run ads for your company, I wouldn't recommend this right away, but it can be very useful. A lot of people use ads on Google to get their business showing up first. But right now I'm going to skip that because that's not the purpose of this video. They're going to give you offers for like custom domains and everything else. We're going to skip through that. And then once we are verified with our business, then it's going to show up as your business listing. Okay. So from here, what you can do, this is where you can read reviews. This is where you're going to be able to look at your performance, how many people are looking at your business. If people are sending messages through Google business, you're going to be able to answer those messages right here inside of your Google business profile profile, edit your services, right? You can do all of that right here when you're signed into your Google account and you go to uh, google.com slash business. You can always go back and click manage now and manage all of the things that you need to take care of for your business. So that's the basics of setting up your business on Google. Everyone should be doing this. As you can see, it's not terribly difficult. You can do it in about 10 minutes um, and it really does have a huge impact on your company. So if you have any questions, if you have any issues, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll try to help you out as quickly as possible. But I hope this vi video was valuable to you. And if it was, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos and go ahead, check out that Google ads video if you would like to figure out how to set up those ads to help your business grow even more. So thanks for watching. I'll see everybody sometime in a future video.